<laughs> <laughs> trying to drive, <laughs> find house manager pictures, and found a bunch, which was fantastic. I was like, yeah, this is yeah, our very own So I just asked people, yeah. I just yeah. not missed the opportunity. So <laughs> I'm sure you had that. Oh, and I'll send you the electronic. Oh, you did it in the Okay, let me hear it. Oh, oh, I took a picture. Oh, it's just the videos. I actually have a tip. As soon as I can see it out there, I'm going to arrange yeah. a meeting for you. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll that type of thing kind of like, like <laughs> No, I said and that was and like, and like you. And we'll use the video. I know. And I know. And we're going to show you that you recognize me because that's the end of the first five years ago. So I talked to Veronica last night. And I was like, so it's like fair faucet. It's not a dictation. Yeah, that was a. We had this. We all had this. We moved, seconded, voted on this. I Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, 
are there any more corrections to the minutes? And and it um, it's for both meetings. So did everybody get a chance to look at the at the retreat as well or not? We're not ready to do that. Can we table that to another time, though, to approve? I feel we do. Okay. That's okay. I don't care. Okay. okay, did you get a chance mm -hmm. to read the retreat meet minutes? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, well, not everybody did, and so we aren't wa wasting time. We'll, we'll approve the retreat minutes at the next meeting. Great. Um, so um, I need to have a vote on uh, this month's. I mean, last month's. We need a motion. So a I motion, please. That we approve this month's board minutes as with corrections. Can I get a second, please? I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. The, the minutes have been approved. Did everybody get a chance to read the house manager's report? Yep. Um, any questions or corrections? Or questions for Kathy? <laughs> questions, questions for Kathy? Corrections. Just, just ask Kathy if you have any questions. Um, I, I'd just like to add a couple things. Um, we're, we're booking like crazy. It's not as evident from this report because I didn't have money and contracts for people. But we, we are filling up really fast. And the phone is ringing off the hook for um, memorials and, and small parties. So it's, it's, it's going nuts. Um, I anticipate a very, very busy summer into the fall. And um, right now we are booked, um, starting on the 23rd, we're booked eight out of 10 weekends, and we might be booked nine out of 10 weekends. Wow. So it's, um, and I'm just getting calls now for May events, so I don't think the calls for the June events, July events, August events, the special event kinds of things, not weddings, mm -hmm. but the smaller things have even started. Okay. So. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, so. So, um, I do want to say thank you for hearing the Pathman House Fund report. Yeah, this is very helpful. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was very thorough. I agree. That's very helpful, uh, but this is much more up to date. And right. yeah. Up to date. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But I love seeing that our Calvin House Fund is balanced unofficially. Almost well, fifty-three thousand. It's never cool. official until they close the books right. for yeah, twenty. Yeah. So it won't be official until they close the books for twenty twenty-one. Because there may still be some things coming in and going out as accounting right. and finance adjust, make adjustments. Right. Thank, you, thank you for that, defining that. Um, those that aren't aware of accounting, that, that's useful. Um, well, and, but that also means that we put almost $18,000 in the fund last year. So, and so that's a, that, that is a very good measure of how hard we worked from June to September yeah. last year. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Not all year long, just June to September. <laughs> right. So we, we did as much business in four months last year as we normally do in an entire year. Yeah. So, and I'm afraid, I'm afraid, see a little, little color, I'm afraid we're going to do it this year too. Yeah. So. People are making up for lost. Right. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They are. Yeah. All right. Um, we have a full agenda today, guys. So starting at um, old business. Um, we're going to look at the status of the SHF grant, um, and I guess I'm going to shift to both Kathy and Karen on that. So the, the paperwork has been signed. It's been both electronically and FedExed to the State Historical Fund, although the only one they wanted hard copy on was the covenant. Um, and um, the contract is in process. I have not heard back from them that it is ready. Um, they, um, it's in process. And they've had it for almost two weeks. And they gave you no indication nope. that they're gonna get back? Nope. It's a process. Okay. Anything more that needs to be said about the grant this time? We'll get to more things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, then moving on, um, the meeting the dates and times. Um, we tabled this at, at the last board meeting, but I think it's important that we discuss this. Um, are the dates and times currently working for everybody today? It is? Yeah. Okay. 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 I, I, 
I'm concerned that um, I'm hoping that we're giving you enough time to be here um, because your your art center is um, commitments, and so that's the construction. If we if we need to, we, we can shift it up so we're giving the full, full two hours to your meal. What has changed with all the seniors? When we used to have a time, we used to give it out without an hour. In an hour and a half house. house. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that we can get it to two hours at work or less, ideally. Um, I, I just, there's just a lot of stuff on the plate, and I just don't want you. I want to make sure that we're meeting, um, meeting time allowances for everybody. Yeah. So in the, in the past years, mm -hmm. I still think we're doing a lot of work to go in the time and we can do the only time the whole group is getting all together to be able to work on some scissors. Um, so two hours a month, once a month, all together was what we were committed to. You go over to two hours, try not to go for two hours. And, and a lot of times, yeah. We, So I think one thing that maybe was missed is that at the very beginning of every year, um, typically we would um, sit down and meet the board because it was likely to be new members, and uh, everyone would discuss the schedule and say, all right, what is going to work best for everybody on the board as far as what they need Table and said, This board meeting isn't working for me. And then we okay, we didn't it. do it at the beginning of each year. I think four and a half years here, I don't recall. The only time I remember doing it is when the mayor's wife, at that time, wife, um, she she had some classes and she said she couldn't attend the meetings unless we could shift them. I mean, we voted not to. Right. And we have, we have done it when there's a conflict. When somebody new comes and they say, This date and time doesn't work for me, then we have a discussion. Okay. okay. Well, maybe it's my suggestion that we do move it to the first of the year and then everybody can look at their schedules at the time. In the meantime, maybe we stay where just where we're at time wise. I like that. For the rest of this year. It works for me. Stay then, just staying committed to the second, the second Wednesday, Wednesday at nine o'clock. To, to keeping it by ten fifteen or I, I think the two, two hour commitment is yeah. is basically what it states. Even in describing it to the to new board members, so it seems to me, from a, an outside perspective, that if the desire to, is to have a two-hour window of freedom, then you would be obligated at this time to find a new date and time because you have a board member who can't be present for the two-hour window. That's my perspective from an outside person. And you take or leave it. Mm -hmm. Probably the easiest solution, if we want to do that, would be to move the meeting. Temporarily back to 8:30. I was just going to suggest that. And, 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 and here, and here's the thing, though. I don't really want to leave them at 8:30. And here's the reason: we on uh, snow days and stuff. That doesn't give me enough time to get here and make sure we're cleaned up and safe. You know, I just, I it might take me an hour to shovel us out. I don't want to have to be here at 7 o'clock in the morning for an 8:30 meeting. So I, I think that that's fine for the rest of this year, with the intent of trying to get back to 9 o'clock. Okay. At the beginning of the year. I think that's reasonable. Would that work for you? Yeah. Can we shift it to 8.30? 8.30. 8.30. Does that work for everybody else? I move that we shift it to the meeting time to 8.30. I second. I second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Great. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. Thank you. And then we can readjust just and we look at it the second. Okay. And, um, thank you. I'm just trying to keep track so I can help. 
which is a very pub or whatever it was yes, in the long pond, and it was a little quadruple fold that I think from the 1960s. And then um, I guess the next earlier one was like 2010 that I got. I think I have a bunch of copies of this one. I found it in a cloth. No, that's not it. Yeah. I got the old one. Yeah. Anyway, it was just interesting working through these, and the one from the Federation group had lots of pictures, which was really helpful too, just with the history, you know, at that time period. But anyway, it was it that's, was interesting too. That's neat. Maybe we can add those and put those in the scrapbook. Yes. yes. Well, well, I, was thinking, I, I think this is where we got it. I think. Yeah. But I think it would be neat to scrapbook. say. We updated this year, and this is where we, we yeah. That would be really cool. That's going to be that like continuation of scrapbook, the scrapbook discovery yeah. of yeah new material and incorporating science. And I think it'd be neat to add that to the web piece on the as well. It's fun. Yeah. So um, basically, we need approval of the board of the um, brochure um, with the correction. I think we approved this in the brochure. Any I second that. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. It's been moved, seconded, and voted on, and we're moving right along. I'm so excited about this. This is fifteen. So I'm moving on to the room by room self guided tour. I have a little um, piece of history on that. Connie wrote the original brochure. I found it in this. I was looking for for something. Ah, you wrote the original brochure. Uh, no, the room by room. All the room by room, I did. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Connie had that this look of yeah. <laughs> did that sure. It was sure. Yeah, the room by room, I did. Yeah, because when we worked on, she was really into it. Yes. Oh, yes. She's a detail girl. <laughs> she knew it. Well, it was. There's two of them here. It was one of those. Yeah. 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 So basically, all, I think all we need to do is, is um, select a time that will work for all of us to go through the house because it's going to have to be posted things since we're all going to be together. Um, so we just need to select a time that we can all be here and do a walk through walk through of the house with the tour, and we, you know each of us individually can you know we, one one room at a time go go through. And, any question or concern that comes to mind that we want to capture and write them there so that we can work on it and finish it so that it's going to be a one and done and then for our tour guide to be ready when we the house next. So really it's a question of, I would suggest allowing up to an hour for that box room because to be thorough to, from one room to the next and to then collect everyone's Feedback and information right on the spot. So, so are you wanting to do this next month? Uh, whenever it's going to be good for everybody, really. It's, it's we would like to ideally have it done, of course, before we're going to have our open oh, house. So, but it's ladies, let's house. pull out calendars and see what works. Okay. When's the open house? When is our first oh, open house? Well, I don't know. Right now, it's September. 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 Yeah. So, and other than our talk of potentially yes. having well, something yeah. during the yeah. summer. Which is unset. I was anticipating getting it done for summer. I mean, alternatively, open house summer date was going to. If you don't want to have a special meeting, I'd be happy to, you know, let you in one by one and let you go through it at your leisure. I mean, it's just a thought if, in case the schedules don't coordinate. I think you it's know, best if we can all meet together only because when we can it's shy that one way. another. It's I was going to say often in July we don't have a meeting. I, I'm I'm hoping to not have a meeting in July and December, yeah. but I was going to bring that up under well, say, so other since we and since I've been here, we have not usually had a meeting in July. Why don't we do that? Mm -hmm. Substitute that. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to say put it off that late. I I suggest if we can. I know. I know. I keep. I'm just shaking my head because it's the horrible busy month of May, but can we look at a date and see if we can even get it in at the end of this month? Um for a weekday afternoon or possibly um just now um sometime in May. 
just so we can do it before everybody goes on vacations and, and is doing all of this that they do. Summers get busy. Is there a date that would work better for others? Um, the last weekend, uh, the first week in May is not very busy, but that's right after the tea. Yeah. Or the last week of May. Those, those are those are weeks when we don't have much in the way of. Sorry. May or April. I I don't want to do April because right now I already have two events that we two paid events okay. plus clubs, but the first week in May and the last week in May, we don't have a lot of activity in the house and want to during that time would be good. Can we do the first week of May? I can't. Thank you. In Texas. Okay. okay. I'll be gone last week of May. <laughs> yeah. to we could probably do some other week, but it just, I'm only going to be available certain days. How about the 4th of May? But, uh, Connie's in Texas. I'm in, in Texas. Texas that whole week. So, oh, and you said the last weekend mm -hmm. in April is completely out? Well, the last week in April we have two paid events. So we're going to be staging the house and doing clubs. So that's, it's a hard week. I mean, I've already got a memorial on Wednesday and a uh, memorial on Saturday. And sometime in there, I'm probably going to take a day off because I work on weekends. Weekend. So that that's a hard week. Is next Wednesday a Wednesday? I can't do it next Wednesday. Sorry. Next Wednesday is our busiest club day of the month. Mm -hmm. So Wednesdays are not good. Wednesdays are not good. Unfortunately, next week I've got my mother's um, tournament and everything going on. Next week's impossible. But we could do it. I mean, we could do it early in the week, the last week of April, like oh. Monday. The 25th? Yeah, I could do the 25th. Mm -hmm. I, that can work. I, it works for me. I haven't gotten the confirmation yet because we were supposed to be starting Pioneer Days out at Oakville Park that week, and I have not gotten the confirmation back on that, so I don't know. That's hard. Yeah. Is, is, is that a full That's day event? It's oh, yeah. well, 9 to 1. Yeah. Um, Anne, are you doing that this year? You know, I didn't get a lot of notification. Yeah, yet. Um, I was yeah. going to do it, but I, I know I signed up for it. But I'm in, in the loop because I was going to do that. How okay. about the ninth or tenth of May? <laughs> I will. Oh wait, I will be there. Not ninth is on Monday, the tenth is a Tuesday. Yeah, I'll be fine. That might be. We can make that work. I can make that work. Oh, that works. Um, yeah. Can we do Monday the ninth or the? I can do it either day. Let's, let's do Tuesday. Tuesday the 10th? Yeah. What time? It's only one hour, right? Yeah, yeah. it's one hour. So we're we're going to drop dead at one hour, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ten to 11? Alexi. That works? <laughs> ten, ten, ten to 11? 11. 11. That works. On. Okay. Done. I'll put it on the calendar and send out invitations. Great. Thank you. What is all this now? It is run by room self mentor walk through. Walk through. Test run. And I will drop a simple agenda and post it. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we're 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 following what we need to do. Um Okay. So um I don't believe the board needs to vote on the meeting, do we? No. Yeah, so it's just and posting, it's just, just a schedule. So restoration and preservation for sure. One minute or under. If we are so totally we have begun it. <laughs> it needs to continue work. We've been busy with other work. I've been busy with a lot of other work, but um, definitely something that will continue. And my hope is that um, I, I can we can get this finalized. Um, by the next month, um, but definitely by June. Who's working on that with you, Karen? Well, that would be you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if anyone else? else is interested, uh, yeah, please. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in being the 
a one man show kind of stuff. And really, I think we do better when we work together. And so I think more eyes help yeah. if more people are and interested in it. And the other involved. thing about that is um, everybody has different perspectives on things and, and different strengths. And when everybody pitches in and works on things, they bring that strength to the table. And it's good. So. This, this is just a suggestion. Mm -hmm. I, I just like to see us finish the first two and then move on to the third instead of trying to take it all on at once. And I just think you'd get more participation if we weren't trying to do so many different things at the same time. I think this is just a, we're just get, getting our big toe in there and just trying to keep. Because I'd, I'd, like to make sure, I'd like to make sure that we have that restriction for the patient brochure for our open house. And the reason is because it's part of what we promised in our grant application that we would incorporate historic preservation and restoration in our tours and in our conferences. So I want to follow through on those things. Um, which is another good point, um, Karen, that we have to fulfill whatever we said in the grant. And you're more aware of that than. than Probably the rest of us are because you've been so thoroughly in depth in that, um, and so that's that's important. So if if we continue to work on that, that's great. If other in if in the no sense of no one is interested in helping us, I will continue to work. I'll probably be working with History Colorado too to make sure that actually it's appropriate because I, it is it is important that we incorporate their their feedback and their advice in our. I would be more than glad to help with that simply because I think it's important that not just one person is working on it and then we burn out. That's not a good thing either. So, um, I have one thing you guys yeah. might want to remember is we may all have some in. Yeah, May is going to be very yes. busy. Yeah, 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 I, that. yeah. I, I've got, I've got, Hopefully. The, Hopefully. I, I've got the board recruitment listed here that we're going to talk about. So, Okay, um, moving on to uh, item B, past and present board member annual tea. Um, do you make this menu? We, um, we have a tentative menu. Uh, we're gonna, no, I just, I just type, I, Jacqueline and I just put it together this week. Um, we're gonna do a cheese board with fruit, um, crackers, both gluten-free and regular. We're going to do um, some fancy chocolates, we're going to do uh, macaroons, a little French macaroons, and then we're going to do two or three petite pastries per person with at least one gluten-free option. Oh, yeah. And then hot tea and water. Oh, that sounds lovely. That sounds lovely. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. right. um, and I think that's plenty because uh, yeah, well, we had yeah. lots of leftover food last yeah. time, no, and I don't, I don't want to go there again. No. So um, that's the plan. That, that's great. It takes in, into account anybody that's diabetic. And it, it processes every, everything. Thanks so much. Um, that sounds good. And then we'll use real china and teacups. We can get down some of our fancy teacups. Nice. And um, depending on what the count looks like, we'll adjust accordingly. There'll be tables of four um, downstairs, and we'll just adjust accordingly based on what the count looks like. Can we, can we and instead of doing tables of four, because it, that's just completely separate. Um, can we either have put the tables together so that we have a nice long table that joins one room to the next? Mm -hmm. It's just a nice long continuous table. Or can we up here and, and have um, mm -hmm. uh, the PT up here so that we can just basically be so it allows us to together visit rather than mm -hmm. if you have a long table, we would have your own dinner parties mm -hmm. and put on people only visit but the people next to them across from them, them. which is yeah. yeah. true. Here's the thing I think about doing it up here. First of all, I don't have linens for these tables. <laughs> and we would have to rent them, which would increase the cost. And I'm happy to do that. But I also don't think this room really reflects the historic nature of the house. I think uh -huh. downstairs is the beautiful part of the house and yes, that correct. we would be you know, depriving our guests of really experiencing what I feel is like the heart of the house. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could it be possible? I don't know if all of ours would be, so I don't know. But well, maybe. we don't have it yet. Uh, right. Whoever, I mean, if you have somebody who might be older now and not be able to go upstairs, that, there's that too. Yeah. Well, we can always encourage that people get up and, and, and visit and, and, and mingle. And the money. Does the baby have some cold cuts on them? Um, like soft or I Because it's a mid afternoon tea, I mean, we can add some meat. 
Uh, but I don't think anybody's, I don't think they're going to eat it. <laughs> you went? <laughs> no. I mean, I can, I I can do that. Because you cheese. Savory. Salami feels so good. Savory instead yeah, of uh, right. uh, all sweets. We'll add something. That's yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. Um, is it okay to not do it with bread or crackers enough? Mm -hmm. Sure. I mean, that you don't want sandwiches. No, no, no. Bread. It's not. No. Like cheese and Got it. Sausage. Done. So you don't have the last? Yeah. I appreciate it. Can we have one conversation? Sorry. Last year, I think you said something about when we sit down, try to sit down with some of the other people rather than us. Right. Yeah. So we visit. So that always takes yeah. care of Well, last time there were, it was split. Mm -hmm. Half of the audience were current board members and only half of the audience were past board members. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I don't, it depends on what the counts look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll know more obviously, but by the 22nd is when we did our. Yeah, and as soon as you get that number, you need to let me know. Because we, um, we're going to buy some pastries and the order has to be done by that day. Okay. Of course. I do want to share one sweet RSVP with you all. Um, it's for Tim Waters. Please good morning, Karen. I'm honored to accept your kind invitation to bring you one from Tim to past Yeah, I'm just going to say your mouth. <laughs> Sorry, I can be a bit spoke, so, soft spoken. Um, let, me, let me speak up. So it says, good morning, Karen. I am honored to accept your kind invitation to the May 1, 2022 past and present board member team at the Calhoun House. I am already looking forward to the opportunity to thank the women who have given so much of themselves on behalf of the city and this timeless asset. With gratitude, Tim. Hey, he's, nice. he's always classy. He's such a nice guy. He's always classy. My neighbor, too. Well, oh, yes, right. my, my services are available for dishwashing. Thank you for using the, the china. I appreciate that. Oh, well, the, the, dish, the dishes are fine, but, but there's not going to be that much. You should see. You should see us do dishes. We're, we're good. They can do that. We're good. But, but I am yeah. more than willing to, to help in any way. So thanks again. I'm very excited about that. So um, moving on to um, item E, letter of thanks to the community supporters of the grant application. Um, uh, Karen has been working on that, and has everybody had a chance to review that letter that was sent out? Yeah. Yes. Is there any corrections or issues with that? I have two things. Uh, in the first paragraph, I, I like it. I think that line where it says, um, "We'll provide the total cost of twenty-four thousand, two hundred forty thousand dollars." I just, I would just say, provide two hundred forty thousand dollars for the following restoration. Because we don't know if that's going to be the total cost or not. Okay. The I, only I just, reason I'm, I'm leaning this way, and maybe we can just state it some other way, but so that people understand um, what what the two hundred forty that they understand what the total is. Right. And so while we know that it potentially may may vary slightly, um, I just say provide two hundred forty thousand dollars for the following restoration and preservation project. So and the, yeah, the total so cost so of the total cost of I'm recommending we remove those words. I, I think that's a good point. You could say the total funds of because that's a good idea. Can we do that? We do have that much in funds. It's important that we just identify what our total okay, funds. Well, I'm not funds suggesting you take the number so the of total funds. funds. The total funds. That's fine. Can we? Can we? Can I change the cost instead of the funds? Just, that's fine. And then the, the other great. thing I don't like is I don't like the word effectuated. That to me is, I had to go look it up. Where is I mean, I thought I knew what it meant, but I, I think that's an awfully. Where is that word? It's in the second, second paragraph at the yes, bottom. I see. Yeah. Cost of who's coming out. Oh, yeah. Nobody should have to look up the word. Yeah, I didn't have it. Especially the thank you. But <laughs> I guess it wasn't here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I just think it's a. How about facilitated? Cost. Cost is a. Is, a, is the same name. Same yeah, name but cost. The cost is much more. I I I don't know. I just I think that accessible. A refined cost and refined group and and I don't think effectuated is. How many times have we ever seen? I, I, I didn't have an issue with it, but how about collectively our small group worked for the change? Our 
cause the change. Usher? 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 Usher?
I don't think I don't anybody's going to do that. You just want to do I think just, just, I mean, if this is what's going to settle things and make you feel better that these get out sooner, I'm perfectly fine if you just say the reason what you want to do for the board, that's fine. If you feel that if there's, a, I, I don't have a problem signing if you want me to sign or anybody else. If anybody feels just inclined that they have to sign, that's perfectly fine as well. It seems like you ought to sign it. And it's going to be signed. It's me as title. Yeah, I think so. How many, how many letters are we talking about? Can you do a one signature and then? No, it's usually first. Oh, right. Sam. I'm asking. That's not a problem. I can sign three sheets. Yeah. Yeah. Does it really have to be signed? But the I think it's. Karen's the one that's working with Sam. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay.
and then we have to ask everybody the same question. Yes. Um, I, I, th I think we're all, I hope we're all of that understanding. Are there any per pertinent questions that weren't written down that you felt that we should add to our work? Yes. Because the others are the ones that are just the standard city plus any board question. So, as our board, are there anything in particular that you feel would have been helpful to you as a candidate coming on the board? To be honest. Well, it's just an idea. I mean, yeah, it, yeah. It, it was to give people an idea of the kinds of things right. that we that we do, and that's one of the things that we do every year. So, yeah. so do, do we keep that in a, a little list of here's some suggest here's some, some ideas. Some, what? Here are some examples, um, or do we do we leave? I mean, in other words, we ask the question: Are you willing to spend some time outside of uh, the regular two hour? Board meeting up to two hour board meeting a month, and for additional um, projects or special projects that may include, for example, holiday decorating or open house. Well, that was the or, intent of the question. Yeah. 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 So okay. it should, but should we change the question just slightly so that we can be That's a fine. more inclusive? Holiday decorating or, or open houses. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so therefore, we're being. So give an example. Yeah. Example and we're giving the same They wanted the same questions same. really crisp, but right. we can yeah. add that. Yes. Okay. Kind of say that. And, and let's, and how about we add fundraisers? Yes, <laughs> yes that would be good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, meetings for holiday decorating, open houses, fundraisers, and other special projects. Sounds good. All right, I'll make that change. Thank you. Is there any other questions that you guys can think of that you would like to add? And they can't be longer than 30 minutes. Can, can we add just one simple question? Of all the questions that we've asked you, is there anything else that you feel that we should know? I think that's a fair question. Or is there anything you'd like to add? Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. Anything, you'd like to add? anything that you'd like to add? I think that's always a good one with women interviewing because then people will always come back and say, oh, I should have said this, this, and this, and they don't. And then at the end there, it allows them to come where they felt that they could. So I'm just going to put, is there anything you would like to add? Okay. Is that, is that fine? Or ask of the board. Uh-huh, exactly. Or, 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 or questions. Say, or questions. Or, anything or ask, ask us. us. Or ask well, us. That's right. Should, that, should that not be like two separate things, though? Because if we're doing it on the rubric? Because if, so is there anything more that you'd like to share? And then the second question is, is there anything that you'd like to ask? I think that's fair. That's fair. It's good to separate Because there's two separate questions. Separate and, and there, therefore, what was, what was the second one? Is there anything you would like to ask of the board? Any questions that you have for the board? Are there any questions? How about, how, is yes. there anything you'd like to ask us? Us. Yeah. Right. Okay, that's great. All right. So I'll add, I'll add those and I'll send the rubric back to the city clerk's office. Wonderful. Now, the other the other thing is I, I don't know if we have any applicants yet. I will check with Michelle. They don't really spread that information until we're closer. The other thing is we these have to be scheduled and they have to be recorded. Okay. So and and the other thing is every other board in town is going to be doing the same thing. So there's only a certain number of resources to do that. And um, so do you want to do this after a regular board meetings when they when they're already here to record? Or do you have some other idea about? I think it would be pertinent that we could do it after the board meetings and we are trying to you know, get more resources and get resources in. But the only question is, Jen, is that going to be an issue? Are you going to mind missing, missing? What is this possibly? It, it would be after the May board meeting. We have to do it in May. We have to do it in May? Yeah. Yes. And that's assuming we had anybody to interview. Yeah. I mean, there's a very real possibility there may not be any applicants. 
Is there a possibility of doing a um, half hour before? <coughs> Making it at 8 o'clock? Yeah, I mean, for that one meeting, we'll come early. That's true. Instead of late. That's really I mean, true. We'll all be having I mean, Well, it's sleep. early to have somebody to be here. Yeah. I did mine at 8 a.m. on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did too. For no, I, I think that was, fun. and that wasn't Zoom. That was in person. Well, we're still doing the other person. thing we have to remember is there. If we rec if the board recommends them, they're also going to be potentially interviewed by council. Yeah. Okay. Well, bottom line is, is we're just doing a recommendation, uh -huh. and you council can make their change their minds if you let them choose to do so. So. Um, I'm good with doing eight. Yeah, but I'm good with eight. Yeah, I mean, I don't like eight, but well, I mean, there may be more than one. One easier to schedule. Right. Yeah, easier to schedule. And the, and the thing is that we don't lose time. We don't lose time. You're, well, you're sitting there trying to one week. <laughs> maybe you can curtail. Maybe the meeting will be curtailed a little. That's another point. Good point. So interviews first and then whatever time's left. Based on how many interviews you have, the interview meeting will be Yeah, plan on if we could have separate. Well, we're going to be hopeful that we do, and and, and if we have to change stuff, we will. Right. We will. We'll, we'll just work the agenda table. as we as we have to. We don't have and then if we have to table that. items for the next meeting, we will. I think that's so. Let's go for eight o'clock, and then. Sorry, well, I know. <laughs> but but that that's way it allows why. everybody to be here. Thanks for the easier to schedule. It's just easier. To schedule. Yeah. Sheila, that that's probably you. She got her in She's got Thank you. I, Thank I you, my dear. To the powers that be. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we'll have to make sure they can do it. Okay. And and then if we don't have anybody, we'll we'll just meet at eight thirty. We'll meet at eight thirty. Um. All right. On to um the house uh, manager pictures. So. I think at this point we'll have to set a special meeting for the committee because we're at the point where we're like, okay, now we've got to do something. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when you're done. Um, well, I just came across these. Um, I just wanted to show these to everybody. We had talked about doing a collage type picture. And my church recently redecorated and it took on all the collage pictures. And so I grabbed two of them. Oh, no, nice. My feelings aren't hurt if nobody likes these, but they're nice wood frames. You're not the cardboard for putting the pictures yeah. in. Yeah. Nice. So um, you got 14 worth here, right? Yeah. Um, so if anybody's interested, I've got these. We don't buy anything. Okay. I snatched these. I like that part. Yeah, this is this part. I think that's big enough. I mean, I don't know. And those are for the manager pictures. Yeah, just to hang on. Well, this way you get a bunch and a few, you know, yeah. working managers and things, right? But they're quite well made. How many spots do we need on the frames? We I don't know, we've gotten all the pictures. We haven't gotten all the no. pictures. Let me, let, me tell you, let me share with you who we do have and then tell you who we still need. So we now have, we have um, Mabel. We have, um, yeah, Jack, Helen, Carla, Marge. I got, um, Joan from the museum and Leslie from John as the as Paul. So that we've got those eight. We still need um, Nora Kendall, Claire Marie, Christina Jorgensen, Gail Phillips, Sylvia Ortega, and Van Vensel. And Kathy. <laughs> oh, and it, yeah. and you are a given. We don't have to track you down. I know. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're searching right, we're for Kate Jones. Yeah. Now remember yeah. that's one, that's the one was actually a couple. couple. I might have yes. a picture of Leslie too. That I, have, yeah. I have it. I have it. some from the dedication of the uh, gazebo. It's from the, from the scrapbook too, but the ones from the time call are really nice. They're professional and it gives the whole tree. Cool. The decorative quality. So um, nice. We actually found that one in it, one you woman. Found, you found a, uh, one that wasn't listed, Christina yeah. Jorgensen. Um, so that was interesting in the searching of the library. 14 people. Um, oh, so yeah. 14 is there from. And, and then actually yeah, one, of, one, one, <laughs> yeah, one, that, one of the women one. turned out to be a couple. Yeah. So it was Thermat a couple and Roland Reed. Yeah. They did a very short stint. Um, started um, 
October 1st, and then they finished up the following summer. So I'm trying to find, they also ran a, uh, we haven't been able to find a picture, but they ran a um, bed and breakfast type of hotel up in Estes. So I'm going to be researching up in Estes and see if we can find a we're, we're doing the best we can on, on some of these names for just hitting the wall. We're hoping that we could possibly um, find out when they graduated or something, and then I look for family members. We're doing we're going that route. And we're also looking for possible graduation years. Maybe if they went well, to school. Well, that's on my board for reunion pictures. I mean, reunion people. Or it, it, it is a lot like that, but but. Oh, yeah. And particularly, particularly because the yearbooks are not sorted, we have to do that on our own. If we could have a guesstimate of where, what year they were in, we can at least go that point. We're trying our best to come up with pictures. It's, it's really difficult on some of them. We just hit a wall and that's it. We can't find a picture. Um, I left off with, with John anyway, is just asking you to continue to do a search for Gail Phillips, Sylvia Ortega, and Pencil. That would still be within the time frame if they would likely have photographs in their archives. So it was easy to find them really because I can really recent. I knew a specific date and publication to, to point into, and it's like, ah, oh, yeah, we can all get that. But it, um, they do expect to, um, a credit to be listed um, with a um, photo by, and I've got that, Joshua Black, and courtesy of. Um, mm -hmm. And same with the museum. Um, they expect the courtesy of the Belmont Museum to use for all the photos in the book of the museum. And I, I think that's absolutely legitimate. Mm -hmm. We have no problem with that. So we but need we to. Need a, we, need a, um, we need a chance to meet again to, to be able to have more ground. Okay. And to make progress on, on, on <coughs> yeah, potentially putting together and um, see what you've got. We've got a lot of stuff going on. What, what are you thinking? So it's up to who, who, who they can be there. And you're, you're part of it. Janet, you still, you're still in? Or? After last <laughs> time at the library? Yeah. She is good. You yeah. did research. You did yeah, I researched for two thing. hours and you roll over your chair. Oh, I already did that. I found <laughs> all the information and you're like, oh, I'm sorry. I already did that. I'm like, yeah. I didn't know you were looking at the same one I had found. I apologize. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, looking at calendar dates, guys, could we possibly work on something like that? And um, if we could work on something, maybe the end of April? I can do <coughs> the 26th to the 29th. It's open. Where are you guys at? Well, we just decided not to do that week for the. Depends on if this is everybody or just a few. That's a really bad week for, it's for the house. It's not everybody. It's yeah. not everybody. It's, it's just, just a because community. it's a because it's three or more. That's why it has to be. Yeah. Well, we, it has to be someplace with access to the public. So I can yeah. do it. We can meet at the library, and I know that's a bad week for you. So we can meet at the library. Who does the house manager need to be present? I have to be present at all member hosted meetings. A staff member can be present, so it doesn't have to be. Um, we can. Well, it's, it's, she's, 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 she's a little it's ideal to have you, but it, it needs to be her. I'm sorry, I, I, I misspoke. It needs to be the. Uh, I'm hearing that that's a rough people. Um, it is a rough week. Well, Tim, Tim Cole said it just has to be a little bit else in the end. Well, I think that's going to be. That's, I mean, it, perhaps if it's Eric Mason? I don't know. I mean, he, we can meet at the museum, see if we can work with the pictures. Eric, I'm working with the following pictures. Would that be? That's yeah, doable actually language. because being in the archive room would probably help again um, because it's that's likely where we can find anything more because he has access to 
Unfortunately, with the libraries and model, he has access to the microfilm. He has it you know, in the museum, but they also have at the library, which we don't have access to the library right now because the second floor is completely remodeled. So it does make sense to go to the museum and meet in the archives room. Yeah, but we can't come in. Okay. I'm going to ask him, and, and he is typically, um, um, I think the appropriate person to involve in the meetings is your dedicated staff liaison. Um, because that is the person the city has funded to provide this group support. Um, and, and that should be the person that, that, that is the person. Um, Kathy said it very well, not able to commit other departments, staff members, um, for their busy schedules and what they're doing. Because um, there's a lot of staff shortages going on around the city and people are flexing a lot of time to do things. So the person with the most availability and accessibility to the floor would be that. Okay, um, can you did say something that you could be available for the first week of May would be better. The only issue we've got in front of this county is that we Is that okay? Would it be okay if we met without you to work on the pictures? Sure. <laughs> okay. I didn't know I was in the She's like, I can't bring up something just slightly off topic because we brought it up three times now. It's like we have to have um, the, um, you know, the, I guess it's the open meetings line. Yeah. Um, our, has, the, uh, has our board been granted regulatory rights. I mean, do we have uh, delegated, have we been delegated to make decisions by the city of Palma? Or do everything we do is just advice? Okay, I don't think we're covered by that law then because I was reading this real quick. I'm gonna take this quick so I don't wanna make this real long, but it says any local body, it may be covered, but here's the definition of a local body that's covered. Any board, commission, or other advisory decision-making decision body of a political subdivision of the state or any entity that has been delegated the government decision-making function. Have we been given a function? But you are an advisory board. That's right. the first part of the sentence. Right, but it's, it's not, it doesn't right. say all advisory boards. It says with the, with, that has been delegated. We have not been, I mean, if we pick a vendor to do the driveway out there and they bid eighty thousand dollars. We can't just write them a check. It has. We're not. We don't have. We, don't have we can't commit funds. We don't have decision making authority. Yeah. So we don't. So really, we're not covered by. We have to follow the legal counsel for the city of Farmont. Well, he's and the one who said it needs to be employee to be present. Yeah, but I don't know if they read it the right way. I mean, I was reading it right off this law summary. It says that has been delegated the governmental decision making function. Okay, that's just I, what it says. Right. I, I agree with you. We took, it to, we took it to the city meeting attorney and does he know though does the attorney know that we don't have decisions <laughs> none of the advisory boards make decisions yeah. so, so yet we're we're bound to follow the sunshine laws but i agree it makes no sense it's to me like they thought we made decisions it is it's really restricted and it's insane i thought the same thing when they were yeah i was like okay i'm not going to charge us i didn't believe the attorney talked yeah <laughs> I don't think but he did say it can be any city employee. Okay, fine. But still, so we're not making decisions. But we're not. You're right. We're not. We, we, we brought that up to him. We did. Charts and witness. Because I even told the board that I think it's that we should be able to meet the. So I'm gonna I'm gonna interject. I'm gonna ask that um, you allow us to get additional clarification. Our clarification, your clarification may differ some, and come back at the next meeting and report on that. So we'll, yeah, it's right in that so hold box. off on this particular one. And again, there's a lot been taken on, and there's a lot coming up. So mm -hmm. unless for some reason, and I don't, there's a need to have this done in the next couple of weeks, that we get back to this one with the answer you're looking for. At the next week, which hopefully will be the next meeting. That's well, I kind of hope it's multiple interviews, but 
that we get back to it at that point. That would be my recommendation. So we can have clarification and not just debate it here. Right. Yeah, I wrote I wrote a note. Clarity on meetings for committee projects for special projects. Yeah. Based on my note. my understanding was that if we were meeting to do a project and we weren't doing business as a board, that that was okay. So, yeah. so we're going to go back and get yeah. clarification. But when we spoke with Tim, he was said the likelihood that you'll get together and work on a project and not discuss anything in regards to that is that way. So our stance is, you will, our stance is, and he said this is, and I'm supposed to be, this is my job to be working with, the, our stance is that we will, you have to follow the same rules and regulations of everybody else in the city, and that is that you cannot, um, if you meet with more than a quorum of any point, you have to post the meeting in a, in a small agenda. It's not that big of a deal to state that you're working on pictures, that's your agenda. And then you have to have the staff person present. And we're like, but Kathy's very busy, how's that gonna work? And he said, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be Kathy, as long as it is a city. But the point is, there is a, another body. So I'm the body. Right. So right. Kathy, I'm not, yeah. I'm not arguing with this, this is any. This is my point. I don't wanna, let's, yeah, let's, let's, not, not, let's not get into yeah. an argument well, debate because we don't. We don't I get that you were forever. told that by Tim. Our understanding is slightly different. I haven't had a personal conversation with Tim. Our attorneys are our advisors. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, they've become the boss of us in a lot of cases, but they are their our advisors. Mm -hmm. And I would like to go back and get some good clarification that maybe can add us some flexibility. Right, right. I appreciate that, but I really do. And, and that's what and I'm, I'm just, good. I'm just reiterating what. I, I, I'm a yeah, firm I believer in the printed word, and I'm just going by their definition of a local body. Right here. It's yeah. a decision making yeah. body. We are not a decision making body. Yeah. We are not a decision making And when I hear that, it's very clearly well, in print. When, I, when right. I hear that, I hear the word advisory in the front of it. And then that. But that's like a definition of that advisory. We, we are not that's a advisory that has clarify. their grants. We are an advisory board. We are not a commission. The commission is granted decision making. Yeah, it says that's that fine. has been granted. You're missing that phrase. It's so, an advisory board that has been granted regulatory. I'm not arguing with yeah. at all because that's, you're what you're going. The path you're going down is, a, is a, even a, a different path than the one that you guys discussed. Mm -hmm. So we really just yeah, we'll get some let's clarity. go go so, get some more clarity. Okay, that's just that so it made it so much harder. You can't write send emails. I, right. I, I agree. agree. All right. Okay, okay, so so we're tabling the house manager features setting yes. a special meeting for the committee until next month. Is that right? Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. Motion I'm now. doing good. Um, so I'm going. Um, I need to have a motion put in place about um, getting mm -hmm. this discussion until next month. Mm -hmm. I'm going to table this for next month. Okay. I second. Okay. All in favor. All right. All right. Moving on to the scrapbooks. Um, I've just been continuing to gather things. Um, there was a neat article about J.C. Penney in the Guidepost magazine this month, and uh, it didn't mention Callahan, but it mentioned it was talking it was featuring his hometown of Hamilton, Missouri. And um, also, I was just going through my JC Penney. I think I should her phone tell, right? Who's her tell? JC Penney's wife's phone tell. No, she was from here. He oh, you're right. From, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm thinking yeah. about Callahan. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. That's all right. No, I'm not coughing yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yeah, I was become a big quilting hub now. <laughs> Missouri, but um, anyway, I've just been going through some of my files, and then also I thought, um, uh, you know, even the brochure, the recreation brochure that has our advertisement and things in it, I'm just trying to gather some of those things to add to the um, scrapbook 
When I see articles, I'm shoving them in the yes. scrapbook box. Good, good, good. Anne? Yes. Um, did anybody get you any of the pictures of when we put the sign up? Huh? Is that the book? Mm -hmm. That would be great. Yeah, we've got a lot of back years to catch up. I think I have a help <laughs> too. I also have to see pictures from when the gazebo was put up, although I think there's already a few in the scrapbook. Yeah, those are yeah. yeah. in. Yeah. 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 It's that through 13, I think, is last year. Last year was. Yeah, the sign was it. essentially, yeah. 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 When, you, when you came on board, Kathy, they had the, the beautiful little uh, clipping from the recreation brochure um, with your picture and your background and you and coming on the board and your introduction to the team about how to do Anyway, uh, those kind of things are what I'm throwing together still, and I needed to find out. Um, First of all, if I need to buy another new scrapbook, you know, with I mean, the official scrapbook materials. I will buy this. But you need to tell me what they okay. are. I'm going to purchase it. We don't need it. We don't need to buy it. That's right. Personally. I don't have a problem spending half a half month for that. I'm sorry to say, I think it should be coming to our funds right there. Mm -hmm. I think it should too. Uh, and in one of the old minutes I was reading from meetings, it looks like Ron's print shop made this. They did. Yeah. They did. They made what? The little sign, the little plaques that are on the front of each. Yeah. Ron's so print shop is now Minuteman. Oh, it's yeah. called Ron's, but it's Minuteman yeah. now. Oh. oh. Yeah. And you know, I don't think we should make those plaques until we know what that particular right. scrapbook so, covers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's down the road. For sure. okay, but it's good to know where they came from. I just have it in a yeah. Thank you. And that's good. Yeah. I remember that though when they were doing that before. Um, and then just, you know, I'm, I've got a ton of um, scrapbook, you know, insert kind of papers and doodads and all that stuff already that I'm ready to get rid of for sure. So I'll supply some of those kind of things. Um, <clears throat> the last thing I was going to add was uh, with Karen Rowing. I have that article. Yeah, that article. Did you say that? I, I think ahead. I have the actual newspaper. Yeah, I have the actual newspaper, well. but I went ahead and just made copies too. Um, I thought it would be, and this is just going to did them. I would like to have, or make a proposal that we provide a letter of thanks from the Callahan House Board to Karen uh, for her years, because she was our layout person in years, literally, and um, was always made sure that the Caliban House Board was in front of the City Council for different things, and I just really appreciate her work um, over the years. So, so let's, let's make a motion that we do a, um, a special thank you. Can I get somebody to put that for us? Was she invited to the tea? Yes, she yes, is. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I move that we send a special thank you to Karen Rooney, um, Rooney mm -hmm. for all of her efforts over the years on behalf of the Callahan House as a liaison. Mm -hmm. I second. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Um, I also uh, think that we should um, maybe present her with some flowers or something so we can do that. Sure. Is she coming? Yeah. <laughs> Better wait. Okay. Is she coming? <laughs> yeah. Well, the bottom line is, as soon as we know if she's coming, I'll, I'll do it okay. I'll, I'll okay. And we'll just have a letter. Then, if she comes, otherwise, we need to just. Then we'll and I will be following up with people on her back. Right. But we don't need to take her in person. I'm going to set you up here at, at the team. Why? Right. But if she's not able to come to the team, then, then we'll do the letter and. and we're in a holy pattern until we know she's going to come. So, do you want me to write the letter, or That's, that should be the draft? The draft. Do you want to do a draft, or, or a draft? Or, um, you can, sure, Connie. And if, if you would prefer to do that, or as as secretary, who normally falls on on um, Karen. But it's but a you know, well, Karen, right? you've actually you worked with her. Say, so if you, you have actually worked with her, right? Mm -hmm. So, would you prefer to do that? Yeah. 
to take on that I'm, I'm glad to do it, but okay. I'll, okay. Yeah, I'll do it right <laughs> after the middle. I don't know, everybody's fired. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Connie. somewhat like what you've done for the city. Um, and he said, you know, that you could use uh, a book scanner. He said, because I brought in one of them myself, and he said, we just love much my book. And he said, well, mine is like an 11 and a half, you know. And so he's like, mine would cut yours off, but he said, there's a book scanner in, in the public library that can arrange to, to um, get you use of that. Um, he said, I'll also let me check in with some archivers groups that I, I same connection. Mm -hmm. um, and then he got back to me and he said uh, a suggestion from one of the archivers groups was that we use a digital camera mm -hmm. on a stand to photograph each page of the scrapbook mm -hmm. and or out of the scrapbooks. And then we can consolidate them. Um, and I said, okay, that, that that's a wonderful idea too. Um, he, he said you can and I said, how do we um, number the pages? Because Okay, that's a very good point. These pages aren't numbered. How am I supposed to make an index for a scrapbook that doesn't have page numbers? Well, he says you can, as a group, decide where you're going to want to put your page number, bottom right corner, center, lower. Mm -hmm. He said use a lead pencil um, and, and be consistent in writing your page numbers. Stay within the book so that the book is numbered in you know, one through whatever you have in the book. And the next book begins one through whatever in that. And then I said, okay, that's nice. But what do we do about dark colored pages? Because we have dark colored background pages. Let me not show up. He said, use a white pencil. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So I shared that with Connie. wanted to make sure that everyone got to hear about that. It's an excellent um, advice. Thank you. Thank you, dear. I brought it up. That helps eliminate the issue of uh, having to go to the Denver Public Library for the book library. scanner. And yeah. You have to work that would be such a so that's that's a great great thing is that we can do the yeah, just get a good it. digital camera to do that. Yeah, um, and, which I have. Um, the house has one too. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> and the the issue is having a copy stand. We I used to do this with students years ago, but we did you know the above is a stand. Do we have that at the city someplace at the print shop or there's no print shop anymore. anymore. There's no print shop anymore. Nope. That shows how old I am. And they didn't keep it quite I wonder if the neighbor space might have something like that. It's such old technology, but it's still in the school. Well, and we, you really have good lighting. Yes. You have good consistent yeah. lighting. Yeah, we had the lamps. We had the lamps. So that you don't get shadows and stuff. Or glares. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Paul Adams 12 and see if they still have them here. Right. <laughs> I would, I would bet there's a modern digital camera options for such a thing. Yeah. They, people, you know, they, they we, take care take we attach to professional the pictures of food with a right. of all time and right. things like that. They, they, so I would imagine you just have to find the right yeah. sort of person who yeah. is not right. Well, there's the whole the option of, you know, who else is called just if they've got one. Well, that's, that's what, what I was thinking too. Mm -hmm. was talking to the our department we used to have photography. Yeah. We used to have that with our and things like that. So so that's a thought for the community to contact um say green and see if they've got an option that we can get a bonus. Mm -hmm. Anyway, great. Uh, is there anything that we need to discuss more on the scrap ups? Open houses. Um, so art walk. Have um, looked at July 16th, 23rd, or I'm a little confused about that. Was that Maureen? Uh, yes. I, um, with everything we have going on and staffing levels, and there's much pressure being put on booking facilities, is my recommendation. 
forego the July and stick with the September, the, the actual art month in September. That's, that's my recommendation based on what we know about staffing levels. It's our intent to try to get Kathy extra temporary help over time. That was our intent before COVID. We had mm -hmm. some success with it. We, COVID happened. Now we're in a different world where, incredibly, we have, we're raising the minimum wage, which we have been okay. Well, we can publicize that, so that's actually going to happen in the city on May 2nd for temps up to 1550, which is wonderful. And that will start to open things up for us. But we don't have any avenues to help her out with almost anything beyond her and Jack this time. So trying to take on another art walk in the middle of summer is my recommendation that we do not do that this year. Um, and are you aware that the open course is staffed by board leaders? Yeah. But I have to be here too. Yeah. yeah. It yeah, looks like we're going to work every weekend during the summer. And so that's, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. And we just threw that in. It was Last time the meeting was... Uh, did, didn't didn't we also... But it's my understanding that we've also always done the ice cream social in that time period. About yeah. every three years. Yeah. Always is. And I'm not talking about forever. I'm talking about this year. I hope we are in a much better world next year. And then add in that we're trying to get our RFP going and also at the same time, which is a lot of work. Um, and again, I'm not talking about forever by any stretch. I'm talking about this year. This is a, there is a lot of pressure city staff. Uh, overriding concerns about our own division, we're missing multiple people, just pressure um, on down the line. And it is my request, my recommendation, we skip this one. Well, and I'm hoping after this year that all of the pent up demand for events will start to, to ease. Uh, so that we're not booked every weekend, uh, like it looks like we're going to be for this summer. And we don't want to give up a revenue uh, as a training event in lieu of a you know, free event. No. So we definitely want to stick with the revenue generating events. Um, one thing I think I tossed out last month that wasn't real well received, but there is a possibility of middle of the week having an open house. You know. And I know. People, I don't know, you go downtown on a Wednesday and there's a lot of people down there. That's a possibility. We could. Right, absolutely. And we did that several years in a row. Um, when I was on the board before, we did um, one each month of the summer, an open house at different times. They weren't just connected to our fall. Um, so that people, you know, what was the morning, what was the afternoon, what was the evening kind of thing. And it wasn't attached to anything, and it was strictly a walk-through kind of open house type How thing. Was the it was good. It was good because, and we advertised it, you know. But it was one of those things that gave something to do with. Yeah. Um, and we have such a much bigger Facebook presence now. Yeah. You know, we could put some advertising out there. Probably get for a Wednesday night or maybe. Um, I on the same lines. I contacted. Um, Colin from the from the from the yeah from Longmont Downtown Development and um, they uh, he he has sent us a list of um, of comprehensive events that are going to be going on that I thought okay great and I spoke with him in the sense that um, if we did have an open house um, they wanted to be able to support us in that things that they, they listed in their events mm -hmm. of what was going on mm -hmm. um, as well. And I said, well, you know, the bottom line is we're talking to the board and looking at dates and making sure that, you know, things are going on at relatively the same time. So we've got um, different events that are going downtown that, and maybe we could, um, you know, piggyback our, our events on that. And so, um, he printed up these dates here, and then um, I also had on the email. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been it's been like this for two weeks. Yeah, now. yeah. Like, whew. yeah. 
I do really love the idea of opening the house one more time, um, other than just the art walk in September and the Sam Hawking House in December. And moreover, one more time being something other than art walk. Okay, and, and, and this is one of the ones I was looking at. The second, second Saturday in June is going to be Longmont Pride Festival. Um, and then we've got also the fair that will be going on in, um, is generally the last Saturday in July or the first Saturday in August. Um, Need to be in the community is, is the fourth Friday in August. So maybe we look. I understand things are very busy. I understand things are very dark. But maybe we look at having a open house. Yeah, either. I won't, I won't support the June one. We're working every weekend in June. So I, we're not working that Saturday. That's the only Saturday in June that we're not working. Yeah. OK. So take a deep breath. When you be able to see my family when they're off once yeah. in a while? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, well, I, I, I understand that. I'm just agreeing to this. Um, maybe we, and I'm shooting more for the fourth Friday, the fourth Friday in August, community in the community. Maybe we could do it on the house then. It's awful close to the other one. And I, I'm out of town that week. My niece is getting married on the 25th. Perhaps we can go back to um, week A. Yeah, I like the idea because it, it's an opportunity for us to have some outreach to the community um, and do more than just the regular Santa open house for the standard art walk. And, and the lovely idea of having different times mm -hmm. uh, of day, which allows for different individuals in the community who have different schedules to pick on this like. Work. I'll go to that. I, I, think I think it's a nice. I think it's a nice thing that we should try to offer, and it is. It is staffed by Kathy and the rest of the board. The rest of the board is what's really staffed in that event. Um, so it's doable, and I think that it's a good thing because it provides that extra community outreach and involvement. And um, uh, and informing them of, of the exciting things that are about to happen with the Hawking House. Do you want to? We can go back and look look at a week that a possibility when we're already working. If you guys are willing to spend some time, we can look at that. And we can get back to it. And See what's May, available. And maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and we're the. The best vehicle for advertising something like that is Facebook and Constant Contact. Mm -hmm. And those we only really need a, a little bit of right. yeah. notice. We don't need weeks and, or months right. of notice. Right. People are spontaneous. Yes. 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 That's Constant just, Contact. Oh, okay. I was going to say yeah. that's yeah. Great. Which, is, which is great. I just thought it was great that it, we, any time that we can work together it, as a community, I think it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And that they're willing to invest. And that's it, and, and uh, listen to, to, to um, and they don't charge us anything. It's all about just sharing the information. And yeah. so the bottom line is, I thought it was a very uh, nice outreach. And then, um, I do see are you shifting up the LDA? LDA? I yeah. really, really do. I'm all for and We have to enter the events ourselves. So they're, they're, they don't enter them. We have to go in on their site and submit the events. Well, I'm not sure if we're able to do this summer. I do this, think we the need to do why about this is it, it, it helps us in scheduling yeah. for the future. Yeah. And this is one of the things that we're looking at for the whole year agenda. Lovely. And we're working on in, in July. Yeah. Uh, the, the other point I would make, though, is making commitments for the summer before we know what the event schedule looks yeah. like is yeah. premature. Yeah. So we can talk about it in January and we can set tentative dates, but the um, the agreement has always been that for these open houses and free events, that if we get an opportunity to do a revenue event on that day, that that trumps, that trumps free it. events. I, I, I understand that, Kathy. I just don't think it's it's uh, it's still useful to do tentative dates. And, and I agree. That's, that's all I'm talking about. So, um, so basically, so if you look 
get back to the meeting in regards to this um, about setting up a possible um, open house, not necessarily art walk, but open house in um, July or August um, would be great during the week. And we'll look at schedules at that point, but not June. Not but June. not June. In August, I have this is we have the schedule on September 10th. So right. We don't want to push too too close. Yeah, that would be early. Yeah. Because that would be you would have to be the first yeah, week. We going to July. Okay. Moving on to the future house restoration and preservation project. Can you bring up one more thing? Certainly. Our walk, September 10th. Um, in the past, I've always coordinated with the, all the artists. So I'm just throwing this out there for everybody here. Um, if you have a favorite artist, anybody you know, um, let me know. Um, don't promise them a spot. We do four. Four turns out to be a really nice number of artists. So we don't, if you don't, and we don't want to have four photographers. We don't want to have four watercolors. So if you know somebody who maybe might be interested, could you just ask them, like, would you be interested? But don't promise them a spot to say, we're kind of trolling. Trolling. It's not trolling. <laughs> That's really what we're doing. We're like trolling for artists. <laughs> I do have quite a few artists that I, you know, we've had in the past, and I, I would love to call some of them, too. But it's always nice to get somebody new. It's always a pleasure to bring a new person in who hasn't display their art before. So I'm just throwing it out there to everybody. If you have a relative, friend, somebody at your church, or anybody, um, just ask them if they're interested. That's as much as you have to do. I, I've got a couple of artists that are involved here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Moving on to future house restoration and preservation projects. Um, again, I think we're going to have I don't want that table this, but but until we know we can meet, this is continued to be an issue. Um, any comments? I'm sorry, I had that. So basically, uh, Jay, 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 what we're going to need to do is set a, a meeting for the walkthrough of the, of the house to be able to identify future house restoration and preservation projects. Obviously, we've talked a little bit about some that we've noticed outside like the wrought iron fence has been on the north, and then there's a tree growing into the foundation mm -hmm. on the north. I did talk to Tori Alford, um, about that, and he said he's willing to do whatever needs to happen if the tree needs to be removed. Um, he's on board. Um, but I think his expectation would be that the city would take care of that, though. So those would be details that would have to be worked out. But at least the, the nice thing is, is that He's in agreement with. Sure, it's no, no problem. But clearly, it is growing into you know, damaging the foundation. So, like, what needs to be done would be okay. Um, but you know, I think mm -hmm. there's walkthroughs and creating a honey-do list is, is a good idea to have. But we've got a lot on our plate right now with the current grants and getting that going first. So before we actually start future house restoration projects. I think we should work on what we got. Okay. Well, I, 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 I mean, I said a honeydew list is fine. We can yeah. make a list. Okay. I think this is one of those things. It's about forethought. Um, by walking around the project, I, I noticed that we've got electrical cords that run this way and that way and then come out to the busy road and whatnot. That was just for the Christmas lights. Yeah. Okay. I understand. But. Are they still there? No, they're down. Okay. But. Let, let me finish. The, the point is, while we're working on the grant project and we're, we're doing certain aspects of doing the driveway, if one of our projects, and I think would be a, a wise idea, would be lighting, we should consider putting an avenue underneath the, the concrete now, um, before the concrete's poured or, or fixed or anything, so we can have run electrical. Here, That's just a matter of running conduit. Yeah. There. I mean, it's My husband does that all the time. When he pour, we, yeah. we stick. We have pipes under concrete everywhere in case he ever wants to run a light somewhere. That's really not key. Well, but, but it, it's a forethought project. But it, because if we don't think about it, we don't do it, and then then we'll undo any of the work that just got done. That's an afterthought. As an afterthought. Oh, we should have done that. 
it, this is that type of thing. But we that certainly wouldn't want to disrupt any work that's done. That's already done. Once so they, we'd want to get in, get that done beforehand. I so it's all, it's all about just the forethought aspect. I don't know that we don't. Seems that we can't have a special walkthrough. I think maybe um, as board members, maybe this might be the onesie, onesie item or ones or twos of us walk through and, and make lists and come back and bring it to the table. <coughs> Would that work? Get That's possible. Um, uh, we're five years out on planning for for some budgets, and we're one year out on planning for other budgets. We did put in an item in the CIP for repointing the house um, as a placeholder because at the moment that's probably all it's going to be. Mm -hmm. But we at least um, we at least took a stab at it. And um, some of the other stuff we we don't need to like go get money for it because it's smaller, like fixing yeah, that. Yeah, I was going to say this. This is yeah. Well, you said you had a a breast antique breast. If you would give me that person, I'll make a call. Well, that so then those are like yes, yeah, so those yeah. are like the little things that. And the repair down in the dining room. I'm working on that. That would be something that would be like, okay, perhaps this isn't a CIP item, but something that needs to be well, done I mean, and taken out of the We regularly take care of do. stuff like that. We don't. I don't really need the board to tell me what needs to be done on some of that stuff. I'm working on it. Right. right. You know, and and we have the funds to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we have the funds to do it. Um, so, yeah, I think this is something we should probably table till the fall. And have a discussion and just make a wish list. Okay. And here's here's the things we think we need to address coming up in the next however long. The honeydew. Yeah. Well, some of it's honeydew and some of it's wish, sure. because some we can't. Why do we have some of it? Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 when does when does the budget for um, the city for the house get submitted to the city for two thousand? It's going to get submitted in May, but it doesn't really include things like that. We have a very small repair and maintenance budget to take care of things like that. But we we do not have any operational budget, budget at all. The only way we have budget to do things like that is if we have events. The only thing that really gets submitted to the city for approval is my salary and benefits. That's the only funding that we get regularly out of the general fund budget. And Jacqueline's um, Jacqueline's. No, Jacqueline's not funded. Jacqueline is every everything else, paper clips, toner, repairs, paper plates, Jacqueline. So all of that comes out of the event. So even though she's an employee of the city, it's not included in the city. We have no budget operational budget. Or I, I submit basically the only two line items in our budget that are fixed are my salary and my benefits. I submit a budget that says here's how much I think we're going to make and here's how much I think we're going to spend, but none of that is guaranteed unless we do events. So so it's all, I, I'm going like this and going based on what we did over, over three years and I'm not including 2020 in that number, based on the tra trajectory of our events, here's how much I think we're going to make. And then I say okay, if we make that much, then here's how much we can spend, and that and it's that's all it is. It's none of those numbers are fixed. We do not get another dime from the general fund for funding for the house, except for my salary and benefits. Okay, so, so no no line item at all put in for for maintenance or repairs. We put in a number, but it's based on the assumption that we're going to make money on events. Okay, which, which I understand that you, we put in a number. Issue is asking for it, and, and, and I am and, and I'm, I'm gonna in my head clarify this again just in, in speaking out here. We can always ask, doesn't mean we're gonna get it. And the reason why we're gonna ask is because we want to ask for it so we can then put it on a grant proposal that we've asked the city for, for su such repairs over a certain period of time. We're not getting, they don't have it in their budget. And we're, that's not a negative, they just don't have it in their budget. We're not going to get funded for that. Can we please, would you please consider us for this grant? It's just a time it's marker. It's for a, a time marker. To identify if there's this well, issue, and the city may or may not have funding. 
and we may or may not do fundraising within the community to help support um, those efforts or those certain items. But it is it's a place that you're accommodating for those people. Well, I'm putting in the, the house for these are few. That, yes, that Perfect one is going to be a big one, yeah. which which is exactly what we're talking about. So so then if we which is which is great which is great then but when we do a walk through and you look at certain things okay we've got the pointing then we've also got certain aspects um on <coughs> maybe certain things on the carriage house that we would like to, to put on it's getting a tentative list together so then we can give it to you and say look these are the things that we'd like to budget for it is our suggestion and advice that we budget for those doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be added on that unless we completely agree. But if you don't even aware of it, how in the world are we going to even have the discussion? Yeah, yeah and, and that's this. fine. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's fine to have a hey, list. We, yeah. you know, we can have a list of things to, you know, every year you want to try to add something. Mm -hmm. and we that's why I would agree. If you see something, say something, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that's, right. that's, a, that's a given. But the, the bigger overriding things, that can, to me, that can wait till fall. And you guys do a, do a full walkthrough and find that out. We're, we're putting in a CIP now. So, so you don't, you don't, the general idea is you don't want to put in a ton of stuff. I mean, you want yeah. to try to put in the things you Priorities. You try to do that. If you send in a bunch of stuff, it's just going to get kicked back out. Um, that's one that needs to be done and needs to be done. Which, which, I, it's a big one. which I completely get. So if, if we table this until um, August, because that, that brings us to the fall. It brings us to the fall. We can but the budget through. cycle doesn't start until. No, it, but it's, right, it's the right. whole schedule, scheduling a special meeting so that we can do a little walk through I, 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 and, I and make a little list. I it's understand. Not so I'll put it on for the August agenda. Well, and in the meantime, if you have things, send them to me and I'll start adding to my list. Right, so we know the tree and the foundation. We know the wrought iron fence. We know the empty. We know the, um, uh, the ceiling in the dining room on the north side. Um, we, you know, I mean, these are, um, there's damage in the auto house. Um, you know, the, you know, when we took the guys from light up for, uh, to Twitter. Yeah, the, the, we had there's, a leak. There's, there's that, it's that's there. Um, the floor has damage to it. So there's there's all kinds of things that we just do need to have a list and it would be appropriate. Not that we're expecting anything to come out of the city and all of it, but if we don't identify the things where we need to pay attention, yes. how can we take um, care of them? Where should we, uh, what can we use as a vehicle for this? I mean. Just send you an email. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, how do you want it? Send me an email. Okay. I'll That's start making. I mean, I have a list. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and and we're well away at it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's been lots of repairs and lots of things taken care of, and right. and we and we just we do it as we have money to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just send which is, which which is, an email with me. Which is great. I, I just think that that um, we need to be aware of what what needs to be worked on, and that's. All about getting the list together and, and working on it as a group, just so we have it and, and just have it for eyes on it. Really. So okay, so moving forward, I need to have a motion that this item gets tabled until August, please. So, um, oh, no, no. <laughs> I move we table the talk about future house restorations and preservation projects until our August meeting. I second. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Moving on to new business. Um, <coughs> retreat. Uh, we do need to, to finish up getting our procedures or, or figuring out, at least if we could just get through the agenda and what was passed, um, that would be amazing so we can get to um, our procedures for, or, um, oh my God, I apologize. Um, but 
but I would like to set up a, a special meeting to get through our agenda. I do not believe we have time or given time during our board meetings. We've just got too much other things to do. And that was, that was the discussion. So um, that's my opinion on the matter. Anybody else? Um, I actually would rather see us set aside 10, 15 minutes in the board meeting. Um, I think we've got through the bylaws except for one or two small items, I think. And as far as um, the actual, the second part about the procedures, you know, the actual job procedures, um, I had a brainstorm, I don't know if anybody else like it, but I was thinking, uh, <laughs> we all kind of know, have a specialty of what we do. Um, Karen right here is a great secretary, you're a great chairman, you're a great doer, <laughs> doer. <laughs> doer of things. Um, getting bids and stuff, uh, Art Walk, you're a good historian. Why don't all of us individually at our own time, at home, sweet time, write a, write a po procedure for what we do. Write a procedure for being a secretary. You can write a procedure for being chairman. Write for, you know, you actually kind of had something in the last one, had all those steps for getting vendors. And then we'll have all those already written. Let's bring them to a board meeting and we can just, you know, breeze through one or two at a time. There's no, we're not under the gun. These we are not under the gun in any way. We can get them into that green binder at any time before the first of the year, I would say, when the new people come in. And that way we don't have to have a special meeting to, you know, everybody knows their thing. They can get it written down easier, and then all we have to do is critique. I, I appreciate the approach. I think we should allow just a little bit more time, because 10, 15 minutes isn't going to cut it at all. Not, not, not even per person. I think we're on the same path, but um, yeah, I, I just think I they're already we, written. Then I'll do. Perhaps what I would suggest, though, for today and for timeliness and things, is that we go ahead and put this into um, the agenda for May, because obviously without Janet present, she couldn't even be here to voice what she might say about that. Or um, if we said, okay, let's let's go ahead and meet separately in a special meeting she wouldn't be here to tell us when she yeah. Yeah, yeah. so can we just put this into the next okay. two months but I do appreciate and I like your idea well, and your thought there think about it a little bit but everybody knows what they do and you can put it into words pretty easily yeah. I think so well, let's <laughs> let's move this if I may move this um, my suggestion on to that move. too is that we only formalize the things that we really need to formalize mm -hmm. we We've been very successful running these meetings fairly informally, and um, I, I think we have. I'm, I'm laughing and because we're, we're, we're so restricted now that it's really challenging. I, I understand, but my point is we, we don't need to make a rule for everything. You know, I think we need to have guidelines. Yeah, right. Just bullet points. Yeah, just yeah. guidelines and bullet points, and I, and I just think, and the other thing is every board and every set of members takes a different approach to things. Mm -hmm. And I don't think for, I mean, the, re the rules of procedure and the Rogers rules of orders are for boards that have lots of contention and boards and groups that have lots of contention and they need to have a set of rules to run the meeting by because things get out of hand. Right. I, I don't think that's the case here. So I, you know, every, and every chairperson takes a different approach to leading Every secretary takes a different approach to taking notes. Every historian's going to put their own flavor on keeping track of the history. Well, that's why I say each person is writing yeah. a few points. For what, I, what I, I agree with you to, to an extent of what you're saying, but I think it's important that we have a set of guidelines that is there that we have reviewed and looked at. The bottom line is these haven't been very either. This is a path that technically we just need to go through it. It's a little bit of house cleaning. I know nobody necessarily, it's not exactly fun work, but the bottom line is, I don't think it's a bad idea. And and it's been there. And so it's just do a little house cleaning on it. It's not a bad thing. And looking at, looking at, at how we run this, I understand that each board will choose to do things the way they choose to point is that we can just have it clarified, so we're going to do this in January, so we have a little bit more of a guideline 
that's really what it is. So it's about setting agendas and you're saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just about yeah. setting the agendas and getting to the so we're in agreement about the same point. And one of the things we didn't get to is the setting of the agendas and how I I would like to have committee meetings and just set up the agenda a little bit different, slightly different, so we can get the meeting down to a more reasonable time frame. That's so if we've got committees out there they can talk and they can or they don't have to but we, we get back to that and the things don't withdraw that's just a simple thing that i would like to discuss so for time i think we're right we're going to have to push this to um old business and put it on the agenda for next month if i can have to make a motion have a short bloom period. That's not true for all of them, but yeah. in general, they have a short bloom period. And I think the sign ought to look nice from the 1st of June until we get the first hard freeze. So I'm not sure we shouldn't just put annuals in that bed um, and continue the theme out there that we have of the you know pinks and purples and whites and maybe do king coleus and begonias, but just something that's gonna look nice all summer long, um, as opposed to something that's just gonna be seasonally pretty. Would that affect the budget at all? No. Because no. that would add another how many square feet of flowers? I don't think it's a big deal. Okay. I'm and it's Park's budget. <laughs> so, oh, now you're talking. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's Park's. Yeah. <laughs> I don't disagree that we we um, do the um, the more annual flowers, but I I do like the, the we can do a border of a yeah. and That's exactly inside. I love the that. Mar marigolds are great. They bloom till they freeze. Yeah, I don't want to do marigolds. They're orange. <laughs> <laughs> They're orange. We don't. Yeah, those on <laughs> yeah we could do yellow. Yeah, the mouse plants that you. The, yeah, the little mini mouse, mini mouse plants. I, I, are lovely. They're beautiful. And they, yeah, every year they come back. Yeah. And they're green all year. They're mainly for their grand greenery. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I, I, I like the fact of adding some some greenery in there for the depth, so the flower, so the colors do pop. Yeah. And I like the idea of marigolds, and we could do them in yellow. We don't have to do them in, in oh, orange. Yeah. That's a, cool. You know, but we've had really good luck with begonias. Begonias are good. Um, petunias it's have to be deadheaded, yeah. and they're and they're it's hard to get them to sustain for the whole season. Yeah. So I wouldn't plant petunias unless. And that's a shady. Isn't that kind of a shady? Uh, There's a parcel. No, it's, it's on the west it's side. Why don't you picture. and I meet and yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. And I'm working on the flower order right now. Okay. So why don't we just chat and I'll add some stuff for the bed. Okay. And then if we want to do the perennials, we can, we yeah, can get those. Yeah, I think the border of perennials is nice, especially get the mini ones. But then fill in the inside with color. Okay. okay. And nice. I will take it on. Would you be yeah. able to bring back a... Planting diagram for yeah. the next time. Yeah. Okay. Well, because it's good to know we've got such a good green thumb here. Yeah. Actually, the, yeah. we're going to order the. My past has been We're going to order the flowers <laughs> soon. She used to work here. <laughs> uh, I I suggest we let Kathy and Ann come up with the plan and 
after C. Then just tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't I think, think we need have a, a planting diagram. They're going to plant. They're going to do something what nice. Got. The gardeners I will trust plant. them. Can, yeah. you, can you just bring them back to show us what the decision was? Did, yes. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I think that we've got a, we've got a, well, unfortunately, sorry, Anne. Are you Does my picture get on the wall? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, think, I think it should. <laughs> you can put a little tag. Anne's garden. <laughs> Anne's garden. Um, can you cross that picture? Are you okay with this? Because I kind of feel like That's we just, we. Yeah, garden, I like gardens. Okay, because you can object. You don't have to. You notice I didn't. <laughs> okay, okay, but I'm like, I'm giving you an out here. All right. So moving forward with with Kathy and, and Anne on the project, and I think this is good hands. Moving on to fundraising. I think that at this point we don't have much to speak to for yeah. fundraising because we don't know what items we would need to fundraise for. Um, you know, I think it's it starts with that first step of we need a list. Generally, okay. historic repairs need to happen. This is not this is not technically general maintenance because it's historic. Restorative, yeah, restorative historic um, maintenance, um, which doesn't fall under the city's uh, budget of regular maintenance, like an HVAC system. So, um, well, but I think we can't really I say, all right, we're going to begin to fundraise um, because this is what we need. However, on this note, I do think that using the QR code would be wonderful to open the door for donations for the general purpose of historic preservation and restoration for the house. And yeah, so and, and is it set up that way? I don't know. The QR code? The QR code just takes on the website. Okay, is there any way that with the QR code that we could add an, an a do donation? Donate, yeah. Because like, you can go up to anything right now and, and, and check the QR code. And then it brings you to all the information. But it's like, donate now. There's always a button that pops right up immediately. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, donate. Is, is there any way that we could do that? Put into that. You know, whatever. And so if somebody that. comes to your garden and they, they, do, they hit the QR code and they say, would, would you like to donate to the Callahan House? Historic Preservation and Restoration Projects. We did some work in on garden. this already, but we need to circle back and look at it. Yeah. And, and garden. We've yeah, that's people that's are true. coming in and looking at mm -hmm. and walking through. And and you know, if I'm gonna come in and use the gardens and take pictures, I'll do a twenty five dollar donation or, or whatever. Just because <coughs> I'm utilizing space and I feel like I need to do that. And I have a question. Um, would you be interested in helping with redesigning you know how the QR code hangs on the front? Does it also hang on the porch over on this side? It, it was, I can put it back up now that we don't have masking requirements. That's easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, um, we, use, we use them for mask requirements signs for a while. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice because it's, it's very clear there's a QR code, but Tom, do you want to do something a little bit with that and make it so that it, it's not just a QR code? I think that you, suggest, you had said something. I did see. I was like, oh, it's that's a great information idea. sign and it still had the QR code. Yeah. Well, it can be smaller. Right. They can be spotted. But it's the information sign. Yeah. But Connie, could you put together an information sign and that would include the QR code? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, that's all right. But it's um, just because it was a wonderful idea that? of yours, and I don't want to, I don't want to take your, I don't want to steal your thunder because it was a great idea. But I love, I love that idea. It, it will definitely incorporate the QR code and it just be a little more welcoming, a little more inviting. I don't know. But then it, when people can. Yeah, and so seeing that, and they can click on well, the maybe it's two QR codes, one for information about the house, and a second. You know, because it brings you right to, what's cool about QR codes is, I mean, it just brings you right to, one click, one click, click one, yeah. One you one click on that QR code, and it brings you right up, and then there's a little donate button. Is that, oh, the original thought process was to give people more information yes, about the course. grounds. Yes, of course. But the donate button is, is easily accessible and, and, and oh, readily right. available for that page of beautiful information about the grounds. So now how does that donate? But that doesn't show up very well on a mobile. And that's a good point. Well, well does it work there in is the city a, when a, 
We have an app for, for donations. We have okay. a bu budget line item that literally says donations. There's nothing in it. So they can put a credit card in? Yeah, you can put a credit card number in and donate. And it could go just straight into the donations. And we can why don't, see what Why don't you let Sol and I work on that? We, we already did part of the work. We just dropped it when things that would got be kind of crazy. That would be wonderful because having the opportunity to have that beautiful information page when they click on the QR code, but right up nice and easy and convenient to well, everyone we, is the donate now. We have you rules wish to, about the layout of the web pages, so let us go well, whatever it is, but you know the, the gist of here. Maybe an app. Put like dollar signs in the corners. There's rules about flashing things on the website. I'm, I'm kidding, of course. I'm just, I'm just telling you because they cause people kidding. with epilepsy or yeah. you know issues. Yeah, that was a joke. I'm just saying, totally wait, just I yeah. can't do that. No. The flashing sites. So what is it, Karen? If Connie's going to do the QR code, she suggests. To I'm just going to make, make a sign. Beautify, a sign. Yeah. Yeah. beautify the beautify signs. Beautify the signs that are on the outside. Yes. Eight and a half by eleven. Eight and a half by yes. eleven. Which I thought it was a beautiful yeah. idea, Connie. So I was like, yeah, we should definitely do that. You need a QR code. Okay. A QR code icon. So uh, that's it, and we're moving on to other business. And I did want to, oh, I'm sorry. I have, no, I have other business. I have something fun to share in other business. Uh, other business, I have something to add to other business quickly. Um, my questers, I belong to the questers group, and my questers mm -hmm. group has been busy collecting. Um, and looking at all the documents that they have. And um, for the next meeting, I would like to formally um, put into our archive, they have a list of all the stuff uh, Questers has donated to the Callahan House over the years. They went through all their documents and, and have a listing of, of all the items that they have donated to for preservation in the Callahan House, and they would like to have that acknowledged. The other thing that they're busy helping us do is they are also going through their scrapbooks and looking for house furniture pictures because they go oh, out 45 years ago. Yeah. Oh, and so they are busy um, looking at, at that. And I that was just a, a sign that I wanted to look at. So, um, the apostle, no, um, to have on future ag agenda as new business is to um, just have the acknowledgement questions report to the board of um, items donated. Yes, I think that we should include that in the next month agenda because it's always a good thing to acknowledge um, donation period. When, when will that be ready? Because that's when it should go on the agenda. Uh, just randomly. Um, it, it, the report's ready. Um, okay. I'm, I'm going to ask that they clean it up a little bit more. So then, so then we can just submit it to the board, so it can go on the next agenda. Okay. Karen? So I have one little fun tidbit I'd like to share with you all, and a wonderful question about what happened to the Dr. Jones and Mrs. Mary Jones house. Um, and it's just this historic search, which is been really enjoyable. <laughs> well, here's here's what I can confirm, um, because it, the Longmont Ledger, June 19, 1908. Friday, and here's a little snippet from <coughs> Friday and Saturday, the old Dr. Jones house at the corner of Terry Street and Third Avenue was moved to the northwest part of Longmont. This house was an old landmark, having been built in 1872. What's notable about that is that rather than the Callahan's just demolishing this home, they removed it. So Anne's question was really spot on to a sparkle of history that they acknowledge historic landmarks themselves. And so, again, rather than demolishing it, they had it moved to the northwest part of the Mama. I've spent some time with Eric over the archives. I see you found it by now. Uh, not yet, but. I, I've, checked, I've checked with the assessor's office who normally would know when a property is moved from real property land to another piece of real property in another land. 
um, because the value of the structure has to be assessed and along the land. Uh, they did not have records that went that far back. <laughs> Eric has a lot of records that go that far back. And so the good news is, and we even have a map of the lots of land and the little structures on the lots where there was a structure. And so we're going to go take a peek at um, the old um, water records to see the change in the water, water use for the lot. Right. <laughs> and so anyone who's interested in enjoying that little oh, trek down history, let me know. You can join me at the museum. And we can certainly <laughs> mess that question. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's lovely, box. and he's even excited about it because really, that yeah. let me know that would work. make it the the oldest treasure in my mind. So if it's still in existence, oh, that's yeah. cool. So it's kind of a cool piece of history I want to share. Not really Callahan, right? So we don't need to. It's, it's not it's not a, no that, that is not Callahan business. We don't need a, that, that is not Callahan agenda. business. <laughs> that is that is water records on an old property. But it is related to the it's property. related yes, to Callahan, but there's not board business. It's, it's kind of fun way. Way. It's not under, board business. That's why it's under. So under. that's why it's under. this is not it's good to require a special community posting on that. Thank you. Um, I I would like to propose that we decide. Um, at the next meeting, whether or not we have, I'd, I'd like to cancel the July and the December board meetings. I don't know about that. Can we hold off on that? I th here's why. Um, for last year, when that happened, when July was canceled, um, we were, um, no, it was August. It was August well, July, was July or August. And, and August was canceled, but it was literally the month before we had our, uh, our walk in right. September, which I don't know that that was a good choice. And then December was canceled. I don't know why. December was um, canceled because of the spending yeah. having pressing business, and we had both the open house well, I don't and know. the luncheon. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know who, who made the decision to cancel it, but we did I, as a board. I, voted. I, I, I don't remember, remember that. I, did. Would have, I remember us voting to set the day, and then we were, ended up, it was on the same day as the standard open house. We knew that, we said, yeah, it's going to be a long day, and then after reconsideration, we said, oh, that's going to be a long day. Let's not do that. Uh, and then it was a question of, all right, well, uh, Kathy had to check with the caterer to find out when the caterer could do the But we, we voted as a board to cancel. Okay. I don't I remember we that. We did. I do. We did. We did. And I don't think so. But, but, and the reason is because I would have said something at that time. I would have said, no, we have something to talk about. I thought we the, did. The, the fact that the grant's been awarded. And we would have some, thank you. We did vote. And we would have some. I remember specifically. I remember doing it. We decided it was it, it was, was too long, long a day to, to do it the same day as the open house. Mm -hmm. And then we discussed whether or not we were going to go back to our regular board day. And the answer was no, we were just going to have the luncheon and we voted. So that's that's what happened. That discussion happened after the meeting. If, if there, if, so there was no vote. Anyway. But anyway, the, the bottom line is I would like to hold off on just canceling stuff because I, I don't it, think it wasn't voted on. It was discussed. I don't think that it's um, I don't think it's appropriate to just up and cancel things in the future. Likewise, we can't up and schedule things in the future. You know, so I think we, we really need to. Well, more, I would say I as think a, we need to be more diligent about. Um, uh, uh, Okay, I, I still think. I think Kathy brought up something for the next meeting, meeting. to discuss. Yes, that's exactly yes. where I'm going then. So, uh -oh. so we'll discuss it yeah. at the next board meeting about cancellations of meetings. Okay. And we'll, we'll put it on the agenda. Okay. At this point, um, and that was under future um, agenda yeah, items. Right. So, at this point, I think um, we are gone through the whole agenda. If there's no further um, discussion at this point, I would uh, say it's 11 13 and we adjourn. adjourn. Oh, we need a motion and a second. I, I move just move. we adjourn. Oh, did you mean? I said it's 11 13. I move we adjourn. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you said it. I second. Second. And you got the second. <laughs> okay. All of them. Aye. Good job. It was a lot.